What's up, y'all, man? Y'all know what time it is, man. Today, we're going to be checking out opponents before and after fighting Manny Pacquiao. Whew! <laughs> Listen, I'm so hyped for this, man. You know, I know it's a, it's a debate about the Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. That's the only fight I've ever seen him. And uh, it's arguable, very arguable, that Manny won that. A lot of Some people feel it's real. You know, and uh, I'm going to be honest, the only fighter I ever really watched was Mayweather. My family was weird. They were really weird. They paid for every one of Mayweather's fights, but would hate on him and say he was boring. <laughs> so, um, I'm actually, you know, still pretty new to the boxing world. You know, I, I really enjoyed watching their fight. It's, it's the only fight I've seen. So, I kind of want to see a glimpse of what he did to other people. Here we are, man. Before we get started, if y'all have other suggestions... Let me know down below in the comments, and if you enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's go! In boxing, looks can be deceiving. The misconception of those fighters who have more bite than bark, and those who look much less dangerous at the weigh-in than when that first punch hits home. <laughs> and alongside Ruiz Jr., Golovkin, and many more, very few fit this persona quite like the man who can be considered today's most successful active fighter, Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. A relatively small, kind, and humble Filipino fighter whose fight night performances bring much more than meets the eye. Here contrasting the humble and the arrogant we look at some of Pacquiao's opponents from the past, around the time that he was, arguably, at both his physical and commercial prime, Whee! all of which, rightly so, believed that they could beat the eight-weight world champion. I think he has all the tools it takes to beat a guy like Manny Pacquiao. If there's ever a time for Hatton to be able to beat Pacquiao, he'll be in this fight. In the same performances that lead to Manny becoming one Canelo? of boxing's most respected figures oh my of all goodness. time. His name, I know the, the pale guy. I think his name Canelo. He knocked that man out. Oh my god, I hear a lot of praise about him. Damn, oh, that's kind of crazy. I didn't know that. Wow, please click thumbs up, subscribe, oh, and I'm press so the bell hyped, button bro. if you're new to the channel. As we look at before and after fighting Manny Pacquiao, welcome to a Motivedia presentation. Yeah. His hands fast, bro. He quick. That's the one thing I'm really this noticing. This bobblehead is oh, just ridiculous. They hit ridiculous. me with ads, bro. No way. And did you notice? Let's do it. First up, we go back 11 years to a night billed as the dream match. Pacquiao versus De La Hoya. I, I just have to make sure is. Pacquiao, when he when he comes in with his uh, explosive style um, and his hard punches, I have to make sure I have my hands up. Even then, Manny was considered the world's number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter. Wow. However, many pundits speculated that the size and reach difference was simply Ooh, too great. He got 11, 11 centimeters on him. Has been his skill. I mean, yeah, yeah. My motivation has been his youth. And whilst there was little, if any, trash talk, I, I saw Oscar De La Hoya be completely dismantled. I think this <laughs> tremendously Davis. damages his legacy. I just couldn't pull the trigger. I was gun shy. Were you hurt in that fight? Never. Just what, emotionally. Hurt? Has a lot of energy. That was very difficult. We didn't face. know him to be what he what was and what he became after uh, that. Were you shocked yeah. in that? I mean, we were shocked. Yes. But were you shocked too? I, I, mean, I was shocked for about two years. <laughs> Next, six months Yo. later, a showdown with Britain's beloved brawler, Ricky Hatton. Yo, a man hit you so hard, <laughs> he got you shocked for two years. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. It's got me curious, man, about uh, De La Hoya, man, because... Uh, I know, I know, uh, Mayweather beat him as well. I'm curious if he really was that, that tough, like, cause he got a lot of praise, but I'm kind of curious about, was he really that good, you know? 18 months after the hitman's loss to Mayweather, he'd agreed mm. to jump straight back in at oh, the deep end. Oh, that's his name. And labeling Pacquiao as one dimensional, he launched a more verbal approach during the buildup. <laughs> Same move every time. Right hook, roll under. Right hook, roll under. Right hook, spin off. Uh, Just give him someone to spin off onto. There's ever a time for Hatton to be able to beat Pacquiao. 
you'll be in this fight. One that a devastating loss that ultimately led to Hatton's retirement. The bad man did win, but I mean, when the punches land like that so early on and that, you know. He retired to me? A lot of ifs and buts, but that's boxing. One punch, that's all it's oh God. Another six months on, and yet another Hall of Fame fighter stepped forward. Miguel Cotto, a Puerto Rican with just one loss to his name at the time. 150% sure I'm going to beat money. I'm the strongest boxing of us. I'm pretty smart. In a build-up void of arrogance or brashness. Miguel Cotto comes to, to boxing to play the big man and all the way available. Oh and Manny is one of the best boxers we have for all time. Look, yo, he turned this dude into a tomato. <laughs> He got some two tomatoes up. Yo, Manny was out here. Yo, he was straight headshots. Goodness. Early 2010. And this time, it was the turn of Josh Clotty, a Ghanaian fighter who, funnily enough, also returned to the ring earlier this year, now aged 41. I'm happy that he gives me the opportunity because if Manny Pacquiao says he's not going to fight you, sure, it's not going to happen. You see, so the friendship died when you get to the ring. After the fight, the friendship come back. I know what, what I'm going to face, and I know who I'm going to face. It's not going to be an easy fight for all of us at all. Another matchup which lacked any animosity this, oh, between boy. two calm, respectful fighters. There's not much better than the moments right before the opening bell of a Manny Pacquiao fight. On the night, however, humble. Pacquiao pulled off a shutout performance, mm. not losing a step. Mm. Mm. What an amazing combination puncher this man is. I respect him, and he's the best pound for pound fighter. Everybody I fought, I don't think I lost. I lost to Manny Pacquiao. He's very, very fast. Contrastingly, at the back end of the year, Pacquiao's second attempt at negotiations with Mayweather had broken down. Cue the arrival of a much less oh, humble and popular. heard about that. Apparently, Mayweather was ducking him. A lot of people say he was ducking Manny when he was in his prime, bro. Hey, man, the way he punching people, I probably would do the same, bro. But if Manny that, man, he got people ducking him, bro. I mean, look at what he was doing to people. Sheesh. Popular opponent, the infamous Antonio Margarito. It's puto Pacquiao. We're going to have to beat him. Fred Roach is scared right now. Fred Roach is scared that, that, uh, that, that we're going to beat Manny Pacquiao. Oh, wow. Somewhat of a bittersweet victory for the smaller and more humble man. He might be able to pull off what would be a spectacular stoppage early here. He's really piling it on right here in this fourth round. Manny mauled the Mexican fighter over 12 rounds. And there truly couldn't have been a more fitting occasion for Pacquiao, now the octuple champion to reach boxing's greatest accolade. We knew Manny was very fast, and we were going good yo, until I, I got yo, cut. I'm curious, then, can he even see, bro? Like, in those cases, can you even see? I feel like, like, oh my, yo, that shit kinda hard to look at, God. Damn. That's when the problem started coming. Next, 11 months after Manny's knockout loss to Marquez in late 2012, he returned to face Brandon Rios, also trained under Robert Garcia in California. You know what? To me, I think he's scared, and Freddie Roach is scared. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to cancel the fight, saying that I hurt my hand or something just because he's scared. After the first cancel clash of fight. camps in the Margarito fight, it meant that the beef this time around was more about the trainers than the fighters themselves. Hey, oh, hey, shit! Hey, 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 Yet in the same clinical fashion, oh, Pacquiao proved too fast and too active, putting a second L mm, on Rios' resume. Look at his hands. It's just so quick, bro. He's so fast. It me bad because I, I, like, I worked my ass so hard. Five months in the gym, training, training, training. Oh, I look at your ass. 24-7, I look at all the... Another year on, and another unbeaten fighter. This time, the smart, everybody. fast New York <laughs> native, Chris Algieri. A win, but by knocking Manny Pacquiao out in China, right next to his hometown. I mean, that's... Uh, 
it's hard to say what would happen after that, but that would uh, either way, my career is going to be catapulted into into another stratosphere after this fight. So humble and respectful, he entered the fight with nothing but praise for Pacquiao. Pacquiao said, "If he doesn't like to want to punch, it. I yes, will sir. create an action. If he does punch, I'll count." Stand by Praise that he's continued to preach exponentially throughout the Filipino's Gee, ongoing career. He's a savvy veteran with 65 fights, and he, and he knows exactly how his style fights. works. Even to today, six years on, where he expects him to overwhelm Keith Thurman in a couple of weeks' time. I look at his record. Less than three years ago, Jesse Vargas also came in thinking he had the tools to beat a now-aging version of Manny. <laughs> Expecting to overwhelm Pacquiao to avenge the losses of Barrera and Morales, putting himself as top ranks hottest asset. Now it's my time, you know, I planned this as a kid. I said I wanted to take him out and now I get the opportunity to do so and I will. After beating Manny Pacquiao on November 5th, I will be the, their top dog, their top guy. You know, I mean, they're going to push me from then on. Following the pattern, Vargas believed his speed and size would be too much. Though just like the rest, Pacquiao dropped him in the second. <laughs> to win comfortably across Goodness, all three scorecards. And no, WBO yeah, man, champion of the man, world. That's my best, man, you know, right I, I promise to come back stronger. And I tried looking for the big three. I tried connecting with the big shots. I mean, you, I threw more punches than Manny, so I was looking for the win. And whilst most believe that yet another unfair decision loss was the end of the road for Manny. Oh, no. It instead sparked the desire for one last rise to the top. Okay. And that rise started with arguably the biggest contrast of the loss. Got me up if y'all think I'm about to lose the Manny Pacquiao, man. I'm about to beat his motherfucking ass on God now. Oh, the wow. habitually okay. loud and outspoken trash talker from Cincinnati, oh, Adrian the Problem Broner. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely, that's it. He's fighting me. But do you think? I'm to beat your mother. Yes, man, about about Floyd. He already beat you, bro. Despite being unable to put him away, Pacquiao stalked the American right to the final mm. bell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got a right now, you can see it. Though, Ooh. just like Horn, Broner believed he had won by making Manny miss and hitting him clean. I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. Everybody out there know I beat him. It seemed as though you couldn't get it close like, enough. It already sounded like it was against me. So I already ain't, I already, I already ain't got a fair shake talking to you. The noise from the crowd, however, ah. spoke volumes as onlookers saw a very different fight. I thank the whole hood who came out here. I love y'all. I did this for the hood. Y'all know I beat that boy. Lost the majority. I want y'all to pay him, man. Because I got to go and watch this fight now. He talk, he mad confident. I want to hear y'all opinion, man. Well, obviously, a lot of you going to be Manny fans, but just be unbiased, bro. Tell me the truth, man. Because from what I, the little clips I've seen, Manny was whooping his ass. So I don't know. Already now stand in awe of Pacquiao's ability to fight so competitively into his later years. None are more understanding of just how capable the Filipino is than mm. those who witnessed his scintillating best. And at a time when every fight is make or break, Manny now prepares for another brash, confident American. Keith, one time Thurman, does not just beat Manny Pacquiao, mm. does knock out Manny Pacquiao. Mm. Hoping to put another incredible tally on a truly remarkable career. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's so dope, man. Manny, Manny tough, bro. Manny is tough. And I heard he was trying to get to, uh... Greek mythology. Greek mythology. Stories. Look, I heard I heard that Manny had been trying to get to uh, the Olympics, but they said he was too old. They, they they actually raised the limit up to 42, I believe. But I believe Manny is 44, so they wouldn't let him go to the Olympics, and that's sad, man. But I you you I mean you 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 fighting like that, he probably still got some juice in the tank, you know. So I would have loved to see something like that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.